coming down in the boot section. Thumbs up from Johnny Goddard in the pusher cart. We're going this time. Heat number one about to get going. Pole position is Pete O'Connor. Daniel Truman on the front row. The second row on the outside as we look. On grid three is Stephen Hicks. Matt Brooks on grid four. Third row is Tom Golding and Steve Brown, the winner and the reigning champion on the third row. Green light and we're racing at Butmore Park. Butmore Park at Wilson Mill into turn one. And the comedy commentator will be sent to the back of the grid. Uphill they go and it looks as though O'Connor's got a flyer into Christmas Corner, the only one getting a clean run and surprise, surprise, it looks as though Stephen Hicks has been turned round at Christmas. Almost guaranteed. I should have put money on it. And it looks as though Brown has moved up and threw into third place behind Brooks. Ian Blake, a distinctive stature sat in a cart, I think is running in fourth place. Tom Golding, the lightweight champion, running in fifth. Ahead of Dan Truman, he's had a difficult opening few corners. Jay Elliott in cart number two. Joe Holmes, the reigning heavyweight champion, coming through in about seventh place. Eighth place, David Longman, Brandon Williams, rounds out the top ten. On the run uphill, there is action up ahead. O'Connor enjoying himself. With a clear lead now, ahead of Stephen Brown, Matt Brooks under pressure. Tom Golding coming through like a train here. He's, he's past Ian Blake, he's past Matt Brooks. And he's now heading off after Steve Brown. Now to Parker, down to Chapman. The wind picking up here. We've taken the flags down, which has improved the uh, picture, I have to say. And uh, it looks as though O'Connor's going to be run down here by the reigning champion, Steve Brown. Golding in third, trying to get across. Matt Brooks holding off Ian Blake. And we finish lap two. Battles right through the field. See Tyler Mears coming through from the back of the grid, trying to make some progress. We'll leave them to it and we'll move back towards the front of the field. And it looks as though O'Connor's tenure at the front of the field is going to be fairly short-lived. Steve Brown has moved on to the bumper into Ashby, runs wide, takes a bit of curb, a bit of runoff and a bit of grass, but hangs on to the bumper and now down they come into Chapman's. And it looks as though he's setting up Pete O'Connor who's on the defensive now, or at least short defensive, but Brown's gone straight through, Pete not fighting it too hard. Probably conscious of Tom Golding closing in rapidly behind. Probably wants to get into the slipstream and hang on to Steve to pull him clear of Golding. I'm not sure that's going to, going to work for him, though. Spoke to Pete in the morning practice session. A sneaky 10 minutes just to get his eye in. He goes back through to the lead and Golding joins in and tries to follow through. And it's banging side pods through the kink. But Brown hangs on to second place ahead of Golding. And that's allowing Ian Blake just to close in a couple of cart lengths. And coming with him now is Jay Elliott. Holmes has got ahead of Matt Brooks, who's trying to get back past him. We've got quite a fight here in the Elite. It's been fast and furious from the start. And Brown's back into the lead, into the boot section. Golding around the outside of O'Connor. What a good move. And this is not entirely unexpected. Golding was rapid in the lightweight class, and he appears to be rapid in the elite class now as well. The run uphill, and Tom Golding's looking down the inside of Steve Brown, and he's through into Christmas corner. Brown comes back at him through the king, but the road's in Tom Golding's favour. He holds the position, and it's four for the lead now as both O'Connor and Blake comes through. Goes back into third place and Jay Elliott makes it five and I fear Joe Holmes, the heavyweight champion, will join to make it a group of six. Although I've got to say, it looks as though Golding's already beginning to stretch. Towing clear, Steve Brown. And Blake's trying to get back on terms. That's still in the slipstream zone for a run up to Christmas corner.
So up they come. Brown's not in a position to strike back at Golding. But he's right there through the kink. Through Ashby. No, not Ashby. Down through Inkermans. Down into Ashby. I'm seeing having trouble with my corners today. A long run across the hillside to Parker. Bit crossed up going in there, Tom. Then down to Chapman. Right, then left, onto the back straight and into the boot section. And it's Golding holding Steve Brown at about half a cart length. Round the toe of the boot, into the heel of Paddock Bend and through onto another lap. And Ian Blake is hanging on as best he can in third place using that slipstream. And we have got the beginnings of three away at the front as Tom Golding begins to stretch the elite field. We didn't see this so much at Butmore Park, but he's finding his feet now. Brown takes a look down the inside into Ashby. Pulls fire. Elliot hopping in the seat, trying to get good drive out of Ashby, trying to get across, but you can see the gap. It's three, four, five cart lengths down into Chapman as he runs in fourth place. Brown takes a look over his shoulder. Blake's closed the gap. Brown showing to the inside of Golding, but I think he was just covering off a move from Ian Blake. So Blake running in third place as they cross the line and move on to what will be uh, lap eight. Oh, we've got contact. And that's Elliot and Blake into the tyre barriers. Blake motionless, Tom Golding off as well. Well, you have to you'll have to pull back and rewind the video for that one. I confess I missed it, and it's Brown now ahead of Holmes. Down the inside and suddenly coming back into play is uh, Brandon Williams ahead of Matt Brooks. Now, Brandon, I'm pretty sure, started outside the top ten, so it's good progress for him. Obviously, a few of those places are at the expense of Ian Blake. Tom Golding and Jay Elliott pushing on the limit. So it's Brown, Holmes, Williams. And have we got a red flag? Yes, we have. Well, I thought we saw Ian Blake look a little bit motionless. It must have been a heavy one. So we'll uh, 